Well, if you have never taken a selfie, you are a rare individual. Millennials absolutely document their lives by way of selfies, like this gent showing off his grilling skills indoors, no less. Or what about this dog shooting a selfie in hopes of finding a date, most likely? Why, even Mona Lisa herself has shot a selfie for her fans <laughs> of the art world, complete with the millennial duck face. I like that. Yeah. That's a good look. But the new world champion of selfies is this young lady. Friends, that is a black bear up on his hind legs right over her shoulder. Ah, not a good idea. No, not a good idea. Rather than worrying about being eaten, the girl fires off a selfie of the two of them. Wow. Now, you notice the young lady didn't use a selfie stick, but that said, people who do use selfie sticks need to have a good long look at themselves. Whoa. I got that. <laughs> I missed that one. Obviously. Could you say it again? I... No, I'm not going to say it again. If you missed it, you missed it. You just had to watch the repeats. <sighs> this scary moment took place at Chipping K Ecological Park in Mexico. I actually want to hand it to the young lady for not panicking and running as, as you know, that can cause a bear to attack. The bear must have approved the picture as it eventually left. <laughs> By the way, if you're ever camping and find a bear in the bathroom stall, do you know what you're supposed to do? Oh, I can't wait to hear that. Let it finish. There you go. And if you do ever encounter a black bear, animal authorities remind us, stay calm. Oh, sure, certainly will. Stay calm. Never stand between a cub and its mother and do not go near or feed them. And avoid photographing it or taking selfies. That would be another one. <laughs> By the way, did you know that people who take pictures in the shower have selfie steam issues? <laughs> selfie, selfie steam yeah, issues? Yeah, I got it. You got that one? Well, Good. Well, funny, but I got it. <laughs> wow. Well, if I started the story by saying a cow walks into a police station, you'd say, you must be joking. But that's just what happened in Doomagee, Australia. That's right, a cow wandered up to the police station and decided just to come on in. The cow was caught on video having a leisurely stroll around the station as the surprise cops stared at it. Now, they didn't harm it because, hey, moo lives matter. Oh, now that's good. That's yeah. Good. The cow eventually left on its own recognizance. <laughs> Local police milked the story for maximum cheesiness oh. by writing it up using the kind of puns that would get them fired from any place but here. Here, they'd be rewarded for that nonsense. They said they were sure glad the cow moved on without hurting, hurting anyone. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the cow was not charged with this utterly conduct. This utterly. I got that. I got that. Fortunately, this audience is quick. That helps. Yeah. Now, before you go and judge me for my cow puns, please remember that to err is human, to moo bovine. Oh. Well, the cow allegedly did leave the police station smelling like dairy air. <laughs> that may get censored. I'm not sure. That one may not make it. I don't know. Well, we all know how difficult it is to get Republicans and Democrats to work together in Washington these days. About the only thing they might join together for is the use of marijuana for arthritis patients. And that would be a trifecta. Joint support for joint support for joint support. <laughs> well, that lack of friendliness is not the case in Pennsylvania, where a Democratic state senator, Pam Iovino had lost her wallet. Thankfully, there was a man named Devlin Robinson who spotted the wallet in the road in the town of Mount Lebanon. He stopped to pick it up. And of course, Robinson was surprised to find that it belonged to the senator. Even more surprising, Mr. Robinson is the Republican candidate vying for her 37th district state wow. Senate seat. What's the odds? I was happy to return this item, a bit battered by passing traffic, to Pam Iovino, Robinson wrote in a Facebook post. She was thrilled to have it back, and I was delighted to help out a fellow veteran. 
You know, sometimes it's great to put the politics aside. Now on with the campaign to become the next state senator for the 37th district. Iovino thanked Robinson in her own Facebook post. She said, and I quote, lost my wallet, ugh. Luckily, my cell phone number was in it. Look who found my wallet. Thanks, Devlin, she wrote. Uh, you know, Governor, what? That reminds me of a time a U.S. senator was held up in Washington. Huh? The robber pointed his gun and said, take out your wallet and give me all your money. Well, the well-dressed politician protested saying, you can't do this. I'm a United States senator. So the robber said, okay, then take out your wallet and give me all of my money. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. Oh, hey, Keith. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Did you know that there have been so many data breaches in banking that Capital One has changed its slogan to who is in your wallet? Wow, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, okay, back to the good news. Now, you know what's amazing? Two people from different political parties helping one another and no one protested, no one shouted the other down on TV or in public, and the world did not stop. Senator Iovino and candidate Robinson, I wanna say thank you for showing people a better and more civil way to treat one another during a campaign. Very nice. Well, here's a tall tale about a man who made a big splash by water skiing on 11 foot stilts. And no, his doctor didn't tell him to stay as far away from water skiing as possible. <laughs> Chris Dins of Brainerd, Minnesota, got inspired by a video of professional skier Glenn Sperry. So he started training, and he worked his way up to break Sperry's record of skiing on 10 and a half foot stilts. Chris showed his friends videos of some of his wipeouts. They'd say, what are you doing? <laughs> well, to me, it's crazy enough just skiing with horizontal boards strapped to your feet. Why would I even touch water skis with a 10-foot pole, let alone 11-foot stilts? That's a good question. Mm. Well, you know, I had a cousin named Teddy, and he always wanted to learn how to water ski. But he was a bit slow on the uptake. Comes to the family, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know why he never succeeded? No. <laughs> he couldn't find a lake with a hill. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you know, Keith, I remember just meeting my dad at the lake to go water skiing just last month. And, and he texted me that he was on the way. That's and nice. I replied, you know, you'll probably beat me as I'm running late. Yeah. He texted me right back, I never beat you. I only put you in timeout. Oh. oh. I think maybe he should have beat you. I really do. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to say that. Yeah, but I, I did. I went ahead and did it. <laughs> Well, I gotta say, fellas, I think you and your stories are all wet. So let's get back to Chris Denz. He is currently waiting to hear back from the Guinness World Book, uh, or the Guinness Book of World Records. Let's just hope they don't disqualify him for not wearing a face mask while skiing on 11-foot stilts. Mm. That's probably the law by now. Well, as we all seek to be in public but stay safe, I've seen some really unique ideas. Like this gent's soda meets Darth Vader approach to a mask. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. All right, here's one. This fellow's resourceful use of cabbage. There you go. Yeah, he'll tell the cow how to eat the cabbage, won't he? <laughs> or even these two jug heads. No, really, they used jugs as their original mask idea. Of course, there are many who still believe communism brings a perfect society. Well, 82-year-old... Uh, Farah Dia Rojas might beg to differ. She's well aware of the dangers of the coronavirus to the elderly, and as a retired nurse, she still helps others. But she needed some form of protection. And in Cuba, where she lives, protective gear is just not available for her to purchase in stores, probably reserved for the big shots. So Ms. Rojas, who lives alone and stated, she said, quote, I was worried about the asymptomatic cases who could cough just as I passed. So I thought, I'll make a little house with a cardboard box and I'll wear that. So the retired Cuban nurse cut armholes in a box and made a window for her face that she covered in plastic. <laughs> Having a sense of humor, she glued cake boxes to it so it looks more like a house with a roof. Rojas says she's trying to be safe and remind people to smile. She said, and I quote, in the midst of this pandemic, the stress and anxiety all the time, my little home just makes people laugh. <laughs> At 82 years young, Ms. Rojas still helps her neighbors out with some medical services, often assisting them 
with injections. I say hats off to you, Ms. Rojas, for finding a way to live your life and still serve others. Well, before we wrap things up, I know a lot of us are still dealing with all the life restrictions and having just too much time on our hands at home. Well, it seems that some bored cat owners have decided their cats ought to be celebrated in unique and artistic ways. Now, you may think some of these are a catastrophe, but I'd say some are really just perfect. Like this mild-mannered feline turned super cat. Oh, I love it. You like that one? Yeah. That's pretty cool. What about this cat that will soon be declawed, <laughs> but with butter as a lobster? Or what about this one? He's obviously a pool shark now. <laughs> and finally, this kitty that bears an uncanny resemblance to Captain Jack Sparrow nice. from Pirates of the Caribbean. Ahoy, kitty. And you know those cats just loved it. Yeah, absolutely. Because cats love stuff like that, right? <laughs> no. Well, just like Bigfoot at the photographer's convention, we got to get out of here. But always remember, we read the news. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not, after all? So, you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below, and hit the notification bell next to it, so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.